Oh, I love that. Yes, we are going to light a fire today. Doors. Sophie's going to be at the ignition for this one, making yeah. DIY holiday pine cone fire starters. Great way to keep the entire family warm this winter and save a lot of money because these things cost less than zero, you, which I didn't think was possible. Do you, do you want to know what less than zero is? What, what is, is less it? than zero? Less than zero is finding something in your backyard, yep. which we using have. up an old candle that would <gasps> go in the trash, making something amazing like this, and then you can sell it. And you can also give them as gifts. And That's you can make more of it. That's you, how you, yeah. You yeah. spent all show thinking on that I'm one, didn't you? Yes. Okay, yes. okay. So how do these work? All right, so. Yeah. Well, how do you make them? How do you make them? Well, they're, 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 they're all natural, able. which I prefer, as obviously, as a, as a fire starter. And what's great about them is that they're made with beeswax, and beeswax really holds the heat for a very long time. And so this will last, it'll burn for about 20 minutes, which is ample time for the tinder to really fire up into a great fire. Okay, well, let's take a look how this uh, worked in your house. Yeah, yeah, I did right. it yesterday. All right, let's take a look. I just fired, and these logs were a little bit damp, and it was mm -hmm. windy yesterday, mm. so I thought, I'm never going to get this alight, but they just, and what's also great is that the beeswax pulls at the bottom of the grate, and I realize there's an added benefit, because then it makes for a very easy cleanup, because you just pull off this whole wad of beeswax with all the ash. I oh. love that. Yeah. Wow, oh. so when you come over and clean that up for me, it'll be easy for you to do. It, exactly, How do Mark. we get started? What do we need? All right, so this is what we need. You've got a uh, pine cone here, and you can get a cinnamon and scented one, Christina, to give yeah, off yeah. extra scent. I have a little length of wire here. You can use any kind of, um, you know, wire or even a little bit of garden twine. And you want to make sure that it's quite secure mm -hmm. because you don't want to drop it. But it's not to be permanently. Attached. No, it's not permanent. This okay. is just for dipping purposes. Okay. All right, then what I have here is I have pre-melted beeswax. Okay. And again, beeswax, slow burning, and it gives off a lovely scent, which mm -hmm. you can smell yeah, right I now. I do, I love that. And Christina, do you want to help me here? You're of going course. to dip that into the wax. All right, you want to try and make sure that the entire cone is coated, all the little... Um, little right. dips and everything are coated, all right? All right. Okay. I think we did it. I, that's lovely, and then you're going to hold it up side side. like, actually, let's just get a little yeah, on the other more side. that on the other side. Yeah. Are we doing there that? We there you go. All right, then we're going to hold it up. It's a just, village, by the way. It's a it does. does. It does all right, so just let that drip off the excess. Now, what I'm going to do here is, I am going to fill a muffin cup about half full with the beeswax to make a little stand. Oh, so and it's like a Christmas tree. Yeah, and then all we do, Christina, is we just fit it in like this. While the wax is still wet, you're just going to sprinkle on glitter, a that's little, your part, little bit of glitter. glitter. Oh. And then... Just be, to be clear, we, I have notification. Whenever glitter, glitter becomes free in the airspace around me, I need, I need notification. You okay? need notification. I just, I just need you. to step back. <laughs> that's all I want to do. And then, Christina, that is the after, after oh, about two look hours. That. It has its own stand. It's little I love stand. It. And I like the stand for if you wanted to make, because I know you'll get ready with all your Christmas gifts, right. Christina. Yes, I do. So this could be a little Christmas gift. I love this. You see? Or you Merry could... Christmas, Mark. Oh, look at this. I Now I just took a stand. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> and I took a stand. This is beautiful. These are so, and they'll last for how long when you burn oh, them? Look at the light. Um, they last. They they burn for at least twenty minutes, right. if not thirty minutes. So if you have um, timber or wood that takes a little bit of time to take hold of that flame, yeah. this will do it. And as I say, you're look not using this. any of anything. Yeah. Can you show this one? This is so pretty. Big one. Look at this. I have. They almost look edible. It's gorgeous. They really look do. That. What if the wax like begins to chocolate. set too early on those? Yeah. If it begins to set oh, too early. Yeah. How, what? when you're making it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, great question mark. Yeah. You just heat it up again. So actually, when you're working, if you're making a lot, if you're making 12 of them at a time, <laughs> Sorry. you Mark actually, it at all. no, it has, that one hasn't said yeah. at all, yeah. but it will set quickly here. Then just melt the wax again, and you can even put the cone back into, into the melted it. wax the whole because thing. you want it wet in order to have the glitter. It's it. I love it. This Fantastic. Is really I love lovely. this. is a great idea. Well, if you would... If you'd like more information, you can go to sophieliano.com and, of course, always our Pinterest page as and well. And fear not, because we are going to come right back and yes. take another stand. Here.